Hi, welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create motion blur text using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got a blank project set up here. Let's right click in the media pool, go to new item and select color map. Inside the color map, I'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second square pixel. Let's click OK. And I'm going to set it to a black color for now and click OK. Let's click OK one more time and we've just got a black background that we can drag onto the timeline. I want to set the duration to 15 seconds. So let's move across the timeline to 15 seconds. This is 15 seconds and 12 frames. Use the left and right arrow keys to adjust that and we'll set it exactly to 15 seconds and then we can grab the right hand side of this background, drag it across and it will snap to 15 seconds. Let's move to the beginning of the timeline and then we can click on the text tool. Let's click on that and then click inside the canvas and then we can type any text we like. I'm gonna type in motion blur and then we'll click on the selection tool. Once we click on that, we can move our text around and we just wanna improve the fonts in here, right? So let's click on the drop down and we can choose any font. It's default Arial. Let's type in something like, uh, let's use this Star Wars Jedi font. So I've got this motion blur written there using this particular font. You can choose any font you like. I wanna reduce the size of this slightly. Let's set it to around 146, something like this will be good. And I wanna center it out on the screen. So to center the text, we've got the anchor point here. This little circle is the anchor point. Let's left click on that and hold down the control key and that will snap it to the center of the text. Then grab the text object and hold down the control key and that will snap it to the center of this canvas. Now it's nice and centered and we want our text to slide in from the left hand side to the right hand side. Okay, so to animate this text, let's click on it and inside of the effects controls here, make sure you go to windows and select effects controls. When you click on that, uh, you'll see the different options in here like the position. So this is the position for the horizontal and this is the position for the vertical. And we want our text to slide in from the left hand side into this center point here. So all we'll do is go forward five frames. So to go forward five frames, click on the, the, uh, the handle here, this one here, and we're just gonna move it forward five frames. You can use the left and right arrow key to do that more accurately. You can see it's 0 0.5 here, that's five frames. And we're gonna click on this stopwatch here. That will add a keyframe at that particular position. Let's go back to the beginning and we'll add another keyframe here, clicking on this option here. So now we've got two keyframes. They're really hard to see because we zoomed in quite far. So let's use this handle to zoom into these two keyframes. Now we can see them a bit more clearly. And we want to reposition the text on this first keyframe. So let's drag this to the left hand side and let's drag it so the text sits off of the canvas here. And if we click the play button, our text will slide in. Now the text is moving quite fast, but we want to add a little motion blur to this to improve that animation. Okay, to add the motion blur, let's go over to the effects here. If you don't see this, make sure you go to window and click effects here. Click inside here and type in blur, and we're looking for directional blur. Let's drag and drop that onto the text object here. So now we can add a directional blur. What I want to do is click on this little handle here and drag it across so that we can zoom in a bit more and we can see things a bit more clearly. Let's move to a position where we can see the text and what I want to do is just show and explain what the motion or this directional blur is going to do. So in here we can see the directional blur elements. We've got the direction and we've got the blur length. So you need to change the blur length first before you can change the direction to see how that's going to work, right? So you can do nice sort of effects with this, but for now we want to set it to 90 degrees because we want our blur to be horizontal like this. And then the amount of blur is really down to you. You can make it extreme, you can make it finite, but I'm going to set mine to around 110. I think that's a sensible sort of number. And we want our text to blur on the way in and then to remove the blur when it gets to this last point on the keyframe. So all we'll do is make sure we're on the very first frame. Let's drag all the way back to the very first frame. And on the blur length, we're gonna set a keyframe here. So let's click on the stopwatch. We've got one keyframe here. If we click this white arrow here, that moves us to the next keyframe in on this particular effect, right, for the position. But that also helps us to get to positioning the keyframe down here. So we'll add another keyframe here and we'll set the blur length to zero. So we, in effect, we're gonna start at 110 and when it gets to this point here, it will be zero. So if we go back and click play, now we've got this nice little motion blur effect on our text. So if we were to scrub a few frames, we can kind of see what's going. Just using the arrow keys, we can see this blur effect being applied. So you can do something very similar to this using 
Adobe After Effects but sometimes it's nice to understand how to do this in Premiere directly so you don't have to bounce between two applications to do something quite simple like this. Let's um, step forward to frame 5 and on frame 5 we can do a few other things. Let's just save this. Uh, let's just save it and what we want to do is just add a little um, stroke around the text so this is optional you can go down here and click stroke right now it's set to black maybe we should set this to a value of let's say 10 for now and we'll click on the stroke option you can choose a different color maybe something like blue would go well uh, with this white text so we can select like this blue color now you've got this little stroke and you can adjust the thickness of the stroke and the motion blur will be applied to this stroke as well so if we go back a few frames we can see the blur is affecting all of this text so you might want to add that stroke it's up to you really that's just an optional extra so i'll leave you to go and experiment with this if you want to change the position quite quickly of where this uh, where this text ends uh, you just need to adjust the keyframes here or adjust the keyframe for the beginning and start here so for example if you wanted the motion blur text to be in the lower third down here for example to slide from the bottom then all you would do is go to the first keyframe in fact you should probably do this on the last keyframe because you can actually see the text itself so what i would do is go to uh let's just move to the very beginning and then we'll click this arrow that will take us to the very last keyframe then you can adjust the position we can move it down to here and we can move it to the right here so all we're really concerned with now is the position of um, the the vertical position is set to 938 so if we select this copy this copy it then go back to the beginning keyframe and then make sure you paste this in here 938 and then left click outside now our keyframes will be towards the bottom and we can see the text motion blur in from the bottom so it's entirely up to you what you want to do you can easy ease this as well so you can select all of these keyframes select them all just right click go to temporal interpolation and set it to ease out and then it will start to slow down as it gets towards the end and you'll get this nice little motion blur effect so where you position it is really determined by the x and y position here just remember to set the x position the same on the first and last keyframes so that's how you go about adding a motion blur to text using adobe premiere pro i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial